How's it going? So what I got going on today is a dirty garage. I need to clean it up. There's stuff all over the place. I don't know if you can see it behind me or not, but it's just in abysmal shape. And uh, so I need to do a few things around here and get it straightened up so I can use it. I got a project this weekend um, I'm doing for a local company and I'm going to have six benches in here that are like eight foot long and they're going to be taking up a lot of space as well. So I need to make room for those. Um, but I've got this canoe that's just sitting on the garage floor that I need to get up. So that's what I'm going to do today. So here's what I'm going to be using. Um, a couple of eye lags and those. One cleat. This is a rope cleat like what you'd find on a boat, but this isn't going on my wall. Um, I'm going to use one of these pulleys. And I've modified this pulley a little bit. I drilled out the uh, the hole that the old shaft was on. Here's one of them. Um, this has a ton of play between the pulley and the shaft that it rides on. And that makes it really difficult to actually pull rope through when it's under load. And then I've got two of these gambrel and pulley hoists that uh, I got from Horrible Fright. And all I want out of these, and all you would want if you're gonna do this, is this pulley system. These two things right here. The rest of this, you don't need. Unless you want to save it to actually hoist up a gear or something. Um, these have, it says on the package, a up, will hold up to 440 pounds. I don't know how true that is because <laughs> Harbor Freight doesn't have uh, exactly the best track record when it comes to uh, what they advertise versus what their, their stuff will actually perform at. Um, but I'm sure that this is going to hold plenty of weight for a canoe or a kayak. And uh, I'm just going to save this rope. Um, I'll, I'm sure I'll find a use for it. And then I've got two, two links of rope. I think they're 50 foot each. I got them from Lowe's. All of this actually came from Lowe's except for the hoist. It came from Harbor Freight. Um, and I believe the working load on these is 100 or 125 pounds. Either way, it's going to be split up between the two. So they're only each going to be holding about 50 pounds. That'll be absolutely plenty for what I need them to do. All right. So my first step in this whole process is going to be layout. So what I need to know is how far away it needs to be from the wall and how far apart each of the pulleys need to be. So what I'm gonna do is measure all the way across at the beam of my canoe, which is the widest point, and that is 40 and a half, we'll say 41 inches. So that would be 20.5 inches. And then I'm gonna hang it from these handles here and the other one down there. So I'm going to measure from one handle to the other. One forty-six ish inches. And for all you metric folk out there, look it up. Google is useful. Um, so here's where I'm going to be putting it across this back wall here. See if I can span out far enough for you to see it. So that's where I'm going to be putting it across that back wall there. I've got my kayak up there. And as you can see, I use those pulleys and it is just a beast to try and lift up, which is crazy because it's not that heavy actually. I mean, maybe, 45 pounds, 50 pounds, maybe. Um, but I've got it on a, on a two pulley system. Um, but I want the rope 
to go from the back of the canoe up to this corner so both cleats will be in the same area uh, and I won't have cleats and pulleys spread out all over the place. All right, so what I've done is I've measured, I laid everything out. I measured out from this back wall to where I want the cleat to be, which is about the same spot that, uh, that the joist is up there where I'm actually gonna be hanging the canoe. I measured out. This is the nearest stud to the joist. Um, and since they're 16 inch on center for the studs, it's going to be, the next one would be probably about here. Um, and that's, that's a little bit too much of an angle for me. Uh, plus, I'm going to fit this armoire where I keep all of my, my paints and finishes. I'm going to put it on that wall as well. So, then up here, I got on the ladder and I laid out how far the point of the canoe sticks to the hole, the handle, plus a little extra because I don't want that hitting. Like if it swings a little bit, I want it to be able to have some room and not scuff up the wall. So I measured out this way and off of this wall um, to the nearest ceiling joist, which is a little bit past the width of the canoe and you want that so it also doesn't contact any other walls. And then I did the same from here. I measured out this wall to that, that same ceiling joist. And then I measured about 146 inches, which is what we measured off of the canoe handles where we're going to be hanging it. Um, so I'm going to drill the holes for the lags right here. And, and to find my studs, I used this guy. Super simple, like 20 bucks at Lowe's. And it's, it's worked almost every time for me.
show this. That didn't show me putting that pulley up. When you want to tie this off, uh, you want to tie it off like you would on any other cleat. Do a figure eight once, and then when you come back up, twist it over itself so the tag end is underneath the working end, and just pull it tight. It'll stay. No problem. And that's it. It's done.